Hi my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, Kalina Kibono look at my radio motana and welcome back to my routine and subscribers, my day ones, Kelly and Wanabokai and welcome back once again to episode three of Car Chronicles with your girl B. Alright, I hope you're enjoying the segment. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, if you haven't watched my other um, episodes, do make sure to check out the first and the second episode. And while at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that each time we release a new video, you are up to date and notified. Alright, today I left a little bit early. Né? So, I get a little bit <laughs> but before we go anywhere we understand how car chronicles work so far so we're going to um hold a little prayer once again i am already on the road so i'm not going to close my eyes because bam exactly so um let's pray dear heavenly father i pray for whoever is watching this video I pray for abundance. I pray for um, emotional stability. I pray for health. I pray for wealth. I pray that you empower them, grant them the wisdom that they need, um, give them direction in terms of implementing the ideas that they have, and give them direction in terms of um, reaching their goals. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, welcome back once again. Again. <laughs> no, I wanna, today, we're going to talk about toxic work spaces. Toxic work places. So underrated. I don't think, I don't think people know what it feels like to work in a toxic work environment like <laughs> yeah. have you ever been at work and feel like i think i can go hungry i think i can do with some starving because if i am gonna feel like this on a daily then i might as well starve you help you you get me if you haven't gotten to that point where you feel like i don't mind quitting no matter how broke I am, no matter how many responsibilities I have, no matter how many people are depending on me, I do not mind going broke because I am not about to be like this every day. And in most cases, the toxicity is expected to come from like higher management and it does it does but it's worse when it comes from people that you actually like work with you know um people that you and i don't think companies have so far come up with a way of dealing with it like yes we have policies in place and an end but i don't think um companies have come up with a way of dealing with bullying in the workplace because you know what um we can have anti-discriminatory whatever but in terms of bullying again how do you prove it you get me like how do you how do you prove the situation because it's your word against theirs and the minute you put yourself out there and maybe complain about the situation um, you make yourself a target and all people want to do is keep their jobs without making themselves a target without yo know, guys like you have to grow a thick skin and do should we like should we we should we really really like is, is it necessary I 
I think one of the one of the things you can do right in a corporate environment is, is to not have friends. And also, when you don't have friends, we born now in. And not just in a corporate environment. Generally, go mergo. Di chomi di kriwa go strate. Tengo mergo. Aba ta chomi kai kriwa go strate. Go mergo. I wanna do this. There are people that are really genuine. I've met quite a couple of genuine people, but it's a very tricky thing. It's a very tricky something. Yeah, mare. How about that chum? What's the right thing? Let's not say what's the right thing. It's like when you say mare. Eh, I'm gonna marry you. Don't do it. I'll call him again. I'm gonna tip a shot. Don't do it. Let's start here. Let's start with the fact that people can hate you for no fucking reason. Let's just start there. Let's start at the fact that people can really just hate you for no tangible reason. They don't know you. They've never seen you. They seen you for the first time, and um, you have an intimidating character or aura. You know what? People. Will, Work is something else, guys. At work, we're there to walk our way up, and I'm not gonna walk my way up on some sh- on some soft feet. I have to walk my way up because I'm the only person that understands where I come from. You know, I'm the only person who has a full check on my life. And when you can do certain things effortlessly, um that other people are struggling to do then they start getting intimidated and that intimidation translates to hate then this khona le di chit chat nyana khona le di ba re khutana they hate you i'm just like why are we doing that at work like why why that environment why are we doing that at work and then when such things happen um you start dreading to be there because unfortunately that's a place that you spend most of your time at and you're going there to be around people that literally gossip around you and they're not even trying to hide it they hate you like bus nuts guys i'm telling you if you've never reached a point where you feel like you know what i'd rather go hungry than to sit around this shit then you have an experience bullying at work <laughs> And then when you start performing again it's a problem can't it le go mang go mmere go guys can't what are we here for like what are we here to do like it gets in go mmere go when you perform they don't like you when you don't perform they have something to talk about they shred you into pieces they enjoy it they enjoy your downfalls and they don't us they wait see if there's one thing i've learned is when somebody does something better than you you would rather associate yourself with them to learn like you would rather be close to them for the purpose of learning because there's nothing wrong in learning from another person but instead of people doing that then you have <laughs> you have people that have been doing work longer than you ne they've been working in a specific in a certain space longer than you and then them working in that space longer than you um and then you come you do better and then you move um to a better position before them then they make that place hell for you i mean magret who told you that you deserve it better than the other person like kimbang a go retsa ngare position o ke a go halona ha se a go halona you've been sitting here and not doing anything hmm? we came we shook the ground we moved up and now you have a problem with the fact that we're moving up bitch get the fuck out <laughs> go and do something when yourself figure out what it is exactly that you are doing wrong because there definitely is something that you are doing wrong you cannot have new people coming in 
and they outwork you and you want to complain and be a bitch about it don't be a bitch about it please don't be a bitch about it and don't make it difficult for those people and you know what the upsetting thing is the worst thing that could have ever happened to you is you moving to a different position and a person that you have to learn the, the job from is a toxic person and they just feel like you're going to outshine them it's not going to be about them anymore because you've just walked into the space that's if you want to make a name for yourself make a name for yourself like do it without bashing the other person there's no need there's zero need like that one is worse where you you move to another position and the person that's supposed to teach you the job Yo, it, hmm, mm -hmm. It's designed from the material that designed the devil. They don't make them like that anymore. Actually, I thought they don't make them like that anymore, but they do, yeah. Like, you, hey, my God, you can't just be better. Nah, not with black people. And not just with black people. You can't be better. Like, what's wrong with me being better? Like, what's wrong with the next person being better? Can I not teach them the job? And then you know what happens? Then they start asking things from you. They give you tasks that they know you won't be able to perform without them helping you. Then they don't help you. And then come a time where you have to produce results. You don't have them because you didn't know how to get the information. And then they look at you like, ah, but I told you in time. Bitch, you told me in time. Did I know what I need to do? Is it not your job? to teach me what I need to do because the only way I can be effective here is if you teach me if you're actually paying attention and you actually do want to teach me how to do it are you trying then they make you look bad <laughs> and then uh, well, yay. <laughs> and then whereby uh, um, higher management wants something and then you draft it, you put it in writing, bona, email, punctuation that is on par. You put it down, my love. You deliver. And then someone takes credit for your job, for your work. Ibile, they didn't even go and edit any single word on that thing. They take it exactly as it is and they send it through. And they sit in a meeting with you and their boss and they take credit of the work that you have done. They take <sighs> at least in given no way, Eddie Dinan, one sum of a weight three. Like in given no way, why Eddie? You can even tell, got a font on the email for it, it was copied from somewhere. High type, high type, high heat, high rally in effect check. What's a re? Whatever it is, I send them emailing. Now the man, their boss is sitting here impressed over your work. And because you are new and you don't want to cause any friction and tension, you just sit there and watch this unfold. Mm. And people are taking credit of your work. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I wanna. I wonder when you when you start working, ne? you must be able to do this in a very decent way. You must you must be able to speak for yourself because if you cannot speak, yeah. But that's Hamigela Mokwe, look. But that's Hamigela Mokwe. Yo, I feel like there's a lot more we could learn from one another without being. Yet, man, like there's no need. There's absolutely no need. There is no need whatsoever for us to behave like that. Yo, <laughs> I wonder when they say workplaces are a dog eat dog world. They mean it. The worst thing that could happen is someone taking credit for your work, guys. And you have to keep quiet. And you don't have to keep quiet but you understand that sometimes being vocal about certain things only puts a target on your back anyway you guys um 
we've come to the end. I, I feel like if I go in, you know, I go to game. Uh, in the in the comment section, share your experiences if you have any or any other scenarios that are different from the ones that I've already shared. Um, but one thing that I will say to you is be bold, be fierce, be you. Deliver, honey. Talk. But the chumi I agree with you, Mirko. I cannot chumi agree on you, Mirko. Hi you, because everybody is looking out for themselves. And people will do whatever it takes or whoever it takes to climb up. They will do whoever and whatever it takes to climb up that ladder. So, <laughs> the conversations that I had about you in your absence will shock you. By the same people that you consider friends, I cannot to me agree on you. You have a consensus. You have a consensus. You have a consensus. You have a Otherwise, shut it down. Shut it down. Team of friendship. Team. Switch it off. <laughs> when I say people will do whatever and whoever it takes to climb up, I mean it. Even if it means to screw you over, they will. So yeah, eh, kaya ko feel ko play kanya kaya magwinya na. So kung ano magwinya, kung paling kalimeling kling, kung paling kalimeling kalgo, maroksa na yung kung ano magwinya. Agi tu kikanze, agi tu kikanze, uja. Agi turki kan semua itu kini jamu gunanya yang dapat tung. But it's very wild. Anyway. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that each time we release a new video, you are up to date and notified. I will see you guys in the next episode. I love you. Bye.